So this question is asking us to work with regular polygons. So as soon as we see regular polygons, we should be thinking of uh, formulas. So for a regular polygon, we should write down straight away a little picture to remind us what a polygon kind of looks like. So a straight-sided shape, where this is called the interior angle, and this is called the exterior angle. So these two angles form a straight line, and the exterior angle is always made by projecting the side of the polygon, and then it's the angle of turn that you make to come back round to the other side. So the general polygon has that picture, and we have some rules then. The easiest rule to remember of all is that the exterior angle of a regular polygon is equal to 360 degrees divided by n, n being the number of sides. The sum of interior angles is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So the number of triangles inside a polygon, uh, so if I had a pentagon for a, I would say, then I can make a minimum of three triangles. Each of those triangles has 180 degrees in it. Um, but to get the three, five-sided shape for a pentagon, take away two, gives me three. Three times 180 would give me 540 degrees for inside layer. Exterior angle all the way around the polygon. So again, if I had a hexagon, then the exterior angles are those. There, 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 and that. There's six of them. And if I go around the polygon, then I'm turning a full 360 degrees. So hence the reason it's about 360 degrees divided by the number of sides for a regular polygon. Um, and those two, interior and exterior, are on a straight line. So they add up to 180 degrees. So we also have the 180 degree theory. So those are the three theories that we need to remember about regular polygons. And as soon as an exam question says regular polygons, we should be thinking of writing those down, gives us a prompt, then we should be using the information to find the answer we need. So what do we got? Um, they're telling us to work out the number of sides. So they're telling us what the interior angle is. So 156. So they're telling us that on this uh, polygon, I've got 156 degrees there. So therefore, that angle there must be 24 degrees. They add up to 380. And because of this rule here, then we know that the exterior angle, 24 degrees, must have been found by doing 360 divided by the number of sides. So n, the number of sides, is going to be 360 degrees divided by 24 degrees, the exterior angle. So this will tell me the number of sides. So when I do that, I get 15. So this question, the answer is 15 sides. But the key all the time is, see that word regular polygon? You must be jotting down these formulas to give you a prompt. You must be jotting down a picture of a part of a polygon to give you an idea of what the two angles are talking about. The inside angle, the interior angle, the exterior angle, the angle of turn to go from one side down to another side. Learn the rules. Questions then become reasonably straight.